Hiya and welcome to Itsy Crafty. Today I have a super exciting product released from Planners Anonymous. You might recognise this print. This print is from the Note to Self kit from Planners Anonymous. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous self-care kit released this year. And now there is more. So I'm really excited to show you what's inside this bag. So let's just rip it out. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous Melody Planner. Now the Melody Planner is not just a traveler's notebook. You might see on in the inside here strings. It's not just a traveler's notebook. It is the most amazing queen of hybrid planners. That's what I call it anyway. It can be a traveler's notebook. It can have strings. It can be a ring planner. It can be a cover for a disc planner, a coil planner, or a book bound planner. Seriously, this planner is so flexible. It can just grow with you and you can change your type of planner and still keep this beautiful, beautiful cover. The cover is a gorgeous, gorgeous dark floral print. This gorgeous dark background with the pink floral. You might remember from the Note to Self kit, this paper here. So you can see that this is the paper that the print has been based off. You can see it's a little bit out of shape at the moment. It has been packaged for quite a long time. It just needs a little bit of massaging into shape. And once you fill it up, it won't have a problem at all. So the print is stunning. On the front, there is a magnetic clasp in this gorgeous pink color. And that's rose gold hardware. And you can see there the little magnet makes it click together. Super, super easy. So let's just open it and look at the outside to start. This is the front cover with that gorgeous print and the matching print on the back cover. The entire planner is a vegan leather, but it's such a nice quality and such good construction. You won't believe it until you see it. There's this gorgeous, gorgeous deep pink spine and the matching pink on the snap. And if you see this, this is pulling and extending because if we look inside the back pocket here, this is in fact a pocket in the cover, which is fantastic for popping your phone or something else. And if you look deep in there, you can see there's elastic on the end of the snap here. And that means that the snap can grow. So you can really, really bulk this planner out and that will just grow and grow with it. And I do like the snap compared to the elastic all the way across because your pattern just isn't broken up by the elastic at all. So I love that snap. And now if we look inside the Melody, it is stunning. I totally love that it is a light inside and a dark outside. I just love that contrast so much. And this is just stunning. I can see right off the bat that this is slightly different from my older melody. I have this Northern Lights melody and I can see the inside pockets are a different configuration from this. So we'll look in detail at that in a minute in case you'd like to see the differences. In the meantime, let's focus on this beauty. So it's got four elastic strings here for your traveler's notebook inserts if you want to use it as a traveler's notebook. Also, if you look closely, it has these little keyholes here and these little keyhole inserts are how you insert the rings if you want to use it as a rings planner. And you can fit up to B6 ring size in here. You can also use a personal wide or a personal insert. So I just love that and that's really revolutionary with this Melody Planner that you can just convert it so easily like that. It also has this big deep pocket at the back here 
and this pocket is for sliding the back cover of your Happy Planner Mini in so you can have it as a cover for your discs or if you have a coil planner such as a B6 size coil you can slide the back cover in there or a B6 hardbound planner such as a print pression can slide into the back there. I have a B6 print pression currently in this cover so a little bit later in the video I'll also take it out of here and show you it in here just so we can see that it does in fact fit. So just looking at the pockets first of all you've got four pockets on the front here and this pocket goes all the way to the bottom as does this one as does this one and this one goes to about here. The pockets all are beautifully stitched and I just love that they alternate in the colours like this and the angle of them is just gorgeous and there's a beautiful floral print on the top there which is just like this floral print down the side and that big secretarial pocket there. Absolutely love it and you've got elastic here for a pen loop. Also on the back you've got a diagonal pocket here which goes all the way to the bottom and you've got three slits here to pop credit cards or little sample stickers or whatever you want to in there really. And then as I mentioned in the back, this is the section for popping the back cover of a book if you want to use it as a book cover like that. So honestly, it's just gorgeous, totally gorgeous. And just that light and dark contrast, stunning. You can purchase rings accessories for this planner and this one comes with rose gold rings to match the rose gold snap hardware here. If you don't want to use the rose gold you could purchase them in another colour because really the only metal that's on the cover is this little bit for the snap. So if you don't mind mixing your metals at all, and I seriously don't think many people would when it's such a little bit, you could change it. But for me, the rose gold and the pinks just go together so, so well. Absolutely love it. So in a little bit, I'll show you how to install the rings into the planner. I'll just do a quick comparison between my Northern Lights melody and this Note to South melody just so you can see what enhancements have been made to the Note to Self melody. Just standing them up side by side, they are the same size going this way. And the spine is the same size. But what is different, if I just hold them like this, you can see the note to self melody is just a few millimetres taller. It's hardly perceptible, it really is just a few millimetres. And that is to help you if you are using it as a book cover for a mini happy planner or a disc or a hardbound. It's just to help you to get that back cover in a little bit more easily and hopefully not to have to trim your Happy Planner cover at all, it should just slide in there. I don't have a mini Happy Planner with me so I can't show you that right now but I can show you it with my book bound planner in a minute. Comparing the front pockets of the Note to South to the Northern Lights melody, first of all just looking at the width of the pockets it's got a little bit wider in the Note to Self Planner. Also, you may notice on this melody it has three stitched pockets and this pocket is on the angle. So what we have now is these three stitched pockets have all moved up a little bit and we have a new pocket in the bottom there. So we can display a lot more pretties in there. In the Northern Lights planner we had two slits up here for adding stickers or die cuts etc. This melody doesn't have the slits because we do have the extra pocket but they are the width that we can pop stickers etc. So here's a sticker sheet from the Note to Self kit and it slides in there easily. 
and you can slide that in pockets below for example or here is a four by six inch card you can see it's a bit bigger than the sticker sheet so this is a postcard size four by six inch and that slides in there like that so really versatile pockets that will be able to put lots of pretty things in and now we'll have a look at the pockets on the back on the northern lights planner you can see you've got the one diagonal pocket and the three card slits so the layout here is exactly the same but obviously you can see this pocket has got wider so if I just pop this out you can see the increased width of the pocket there and what that means is that you can fit for example four by six inch postcards in this back pocket also so absolutely totally gorgeous love it I would like to just show you some of the other items that come in the note to self kit to deck this beauty out with so when you purchase the cover you also receive a little pack with it which contains three dashboards so these are double-sided paper the outside has a gorgeous pattern in it that coordinates with the kit and the inside is a lovely watercolor wash this one matches the bag you can see that there and we've got our cute little sloth so they're dashboards and they fit like any dashboard does in a traveler's notebook just around the string like that you also receive one month of insert a black and white insert which is for a monthly so inside the front cover it's dot grid and then we've got the monthly spread it's nice and minimalist then we've got the weeks the papers actually nice and smooth so we've got three four five six weeks these are 1.5 inch width columns and then we've got a page which is 1 through 31 so the 1, th 1 through 31 is for each day of the month and you can really do whatever you like with that a word of gratitude a anything and then we've got two spreads which are dot grid and then the back cover so that also fits as expected just lift up your elastic and pop it in like that and that's how you can use the melody as a traveler's notebook there are also these stunning gorgeous notepads there's the little diagonal one with the gorgeous little artwork on there and there's white stylized flowers all on the actual main part quite a few pages there and this you can just slip in the front there for a little notepad to jot some things down on I love the angle how it works with the angle of the pockets love that then there's also this nice long notepad handle with care on the top we've got the black floral all along the outside and then we've got the sloth on the bottom and once again quite a lot of pages and this notepad you can slide in the back pocket here I mean it just looks gorgeous it's just gorgeous and there's plenty of room for a pen to lie down beside it you could also for example pop it in here it's a bit of a tighter fit but you can do that if you want to for example have a book slid into the back pocket and you don't necessarily want the notepad behind the book it can make it a bit hard to write in so you can then slide that in there but really it's a notepad you can do anything you like with it uh, you can even just have it sitting on your desk as a little note just a reminder to handle with care so loving that You can get rings for the melody planner and I'll insert those in a moment and show you how they work when you buy the rings you also receive a pack of cardstock dividers 
and three months of inserts. So the inserts are laid out just like the ones I flipped through. They come unpunched and the reason that the inserts and the dividers come unpunched is because you can punch them for your mini happy planner or you could punch them for your rings and pop them in there or you could punch them for your B6 coil. So that it's best that they come unpunched and then you can do whatever you like with them to fit your requirements. So I love that. And we'll just do a quick flip of these so you can see what they look like. Here's the first month here. We've got this melody belongs to and then a white box for the name. Just looking at my Northern Lights melody, it came with a similar page. This is acetate, sorry about the glare, but it came with this page, this planner belongs to, and I've cut my name out of vinyl using my Cricut machine there, and then the paintbrush is a sticker from the Northern Lights kit. So that's just one example of how you could put your name in there if you don't want to letter it, or you'd just like to make it a little bit more special. On the reverse of that, we've got our Life is Sweeter with a little melody, and that's where it talks a little bit about the concept behind the melody planner. So that's really to have a planner that's completely flexible and able to grow and change as you do. I'm always using different types of planners, and I love using different types, and the melody really is awesome value for money because you can use so many types in it. So we've just got a list here of some of the compatible planners. So in ring bound, you've got B6 wide, B6 personal wide and personal. In traveler's notebooks, B6 or personal. And then disc and book bound, happy planner mini and book bound B6 planners such as print pressure. And for the tab dividers, we have six tabs going down the length of the planner and a gorgeous pattern on each of those. Oh, that's nice. So there's the white stylized flower with the watercolour on the reverse. And there's our second tab. The third tab. So the whole concept of the Note to Self kit was all about self-care, looking after yourself, taking time. And I guess the awareness that look after yourself and then you can look after others. And the sloth was all about just relax, chill, take it easy. You know, be like a sloth. That is gorgeous. Totally love that. And there's the dark floral of the melody. I'm probably going to punch these for B6 rings. I just use my We Are Memory Keepers punch board for that. And I'll put the rings in the planner and set it up as a ring planner. Just looking at the planner again, I'll just show you popping a B6 bookbound planner in the back there. Currently my B6 print pression is in my Planner Babe TN. This TN is smaller than a Melody, so it was in fact quite a effort to push it into the back pocket here. So I'll just remove that. You can see it's getting, going to take a little bit of effort because I had to persevere to get it in in the first place. The melody is a, a bit taller than this traveller's notebook, so it won't be so difficult to get it in. But there we go, we've got it out. So this is a B6 size print pression planner. You can see here I've used it and stickered these pages. So I've been using this one since the first week of February, as I didn't receive it till the end of January. And that's stickering every page till then. And you can see the obvious section at the back there with the pages yet to come for the year. Just grab the back cover. So if you have a mini happy planner, this is the way you do it. Just slide the back cover into the pocket there. And then you can place it wherever you like. So however far out from the spine that you want to go. So you can see there when I pop my B6 print pression in, I have lots of space if I'd like to add tabs or something to this. I didn't have that space in this Planner Babe cover, but now if I put it in here, I would have the opportunity to add tabs and things and use that. So a mini happy planner is just the same, just slide it into the back cover. 
I'm just going to remove this now so we can pop the rings in the melody and you can see just how easy it is to do that. These are the rings for the planner to set it up as a ring planner. All you need to do that is a Phillips head screwdriver, which is a common enough screwdriver. If you put anything together, you've probably got one at home. Now, unfortunately, my little rose gold screws to attach the rings were omitted from my box. So I'm just going to remove the attachments from this melody. When you receive your rings, you'll have matching rose gold screws, whereas I'm going to use these silver ones. So you can see this is with the melody. If you want to convert it back again and not use the rings, say you want to use it now as a traveler's notebook, you can actually keep everything on the rings if that's what you want to do. Everything's nicely stored on there for when you want to change it back. So I love that about it as well. I just need these parts. And then I'll show you how to attach the rings. In your bag with the rings, you'll have six parts. There are these hard plastic bits, which are just to protect the planner from the screws. There will then be two screws, which will have a smooth end like this. And they're the ones that we'll use first. And then there are two screws with the Phillips head and the other screws that we put on top of the rings. So the first thing to do is to grab the end that has the flat bit and push that plastic ring onto it. And these are the bits that we put, whoop, <laughs> <laughs> these are the bits we put into the planner. Looking at the planner, there are these little keyholes here. And what we need to do is put this end into the wider part of the keyhole. Now it takes a little bit of massaging because of that plastic bit on it. But the plastic bit is to protect the cover and just help spread the load across. So once you've got it in that bigger bit, you just slide it down to the bottom of the keyhole so it's really nicely secure and in place. And then just do that to the other one. Just move all the elastic out of the way. So we'll pop it in the wide end of the hole. Just massage it a little bit and then push it up. To there and then I like to just put the elastic to either side so we've got our two little bits there pushed up to the skinny end of the keyhole and then you grab your rings and your rings have holes on them there and those holes match the placement so you just pop them on and then you've got your two little screws with a Phillips head you just drop that in the hole and just turn that clockwise to tighten it. So then just do the same with the other hole, just drop the screw into the hole and use your Phillips head screwdriver, turning it clockwise just to tighten the screw. So the rings are super securely in place, they are not moving, they are not going anywhere. So to use the rings, the best way with ring planners, you have these little bits on the end and the best thing for the rings is if you push on those to open the rings and then hold both sides of your rings when you close them. I'll just pop an insert in there so we can see what that looks like. So just opening it and I'll just grab a plain monthly insert. and pop that in there. So this is the insert that comes with the rings package and this is one month of it and you receive three months with the rings. One more thing I have to show you are the gorgeous weekly sticker sets for Note to Self. These sticker sheets are five inches by seven inches and you can see that you can slide them into the pocket here which is a great place to store them. 
or you can pop them into the back pocket like so I love that and now let's just look at these page by page the first page are gorgeous full boxes and there are two double boxes look there that's a double box but it's actually cut as full boxes so you can use them as full boxes or a double box so that's gorgeous then we've got these washi strips so we've got self-care week and then the gorgeous sloth and flowers and then lots of watercolor splashes here we've got a week of headers some rescheduled and cancelled possibly not enough for this time of the year well this year and then this week next week and two blank ones then this lovely lovely functional page with these gorgeous sticky notes a month of date dots and then these gorgeous icons and colors of the kit and words and then these boxes for appointments build you and work there's a great functional page with lots of flags, checklists, water trackers, some boxes for writing in and more headers for today to do and little things. And then this, I always love these pages. So these are full boxes which are decorative but also really so functional for writing on. Absolutely love those. This one has the days of the week on it for a tracker and then there's some smaller trackers there as well love that page and then we've got a page of cute cute decorative items and these absolutely love that that will look so good along the bottom of a page and this one they will look amazing on the bottom of off the page and then we've got a whole heap of other decorative items there so that's the sticker kit it was a total of six pages so they're five by seven inch pages, six pages in the sticker kit. Thank you so much for joining me in this reveal of this gorgeous, gorgeous Note to Self Melody Planner by Planners Anonymous. I just love this queen of planners. Uh, this melody can be used as rings, strings, disc, coil, book. It is just amazing. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the reveal and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.